Thanks for coming to this channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to talk about what a graph is. So when we talk about graph, most of you think about the graph of a function or the equation y is equal to fx. Actually, the graph of function or the equation of y equal to fx is the set of all pairs of the form x comma fx. For example, you can think about the equation y is equal to 2x. Then the set x comma 2x is the graph of the equation y is equal to 2x. So you can express this one in the plane like this. So when you plug 0, then 2 times 0 is equal to also 0, so 0 comma 0. And when you plug 1, then 2 times 1 is equal to 2 in here, so 1 comma 2. And there is a line passing through uh, two points like this. So this is also the graph of the equation uh, y is equal to 2x. But we are not going to talk about this graph. The, we are going to talk about the graph consisting of uh, two sets, vertex set and edge set. More precisely, a simple graph actually consists of uh, two sets, and one of them is a non-empty finite set, V of Z, the elements called the vertices. In computer science, they call them a uh, nodes. And a finite set, E of Z, of distinct unordered pairs of distinct elements of a V of Z, called the edge. Well, we can investigate the, this definition. So uh, graph consists of a two sets, V of Z and E of Z. So look at the condition in here. It's, uh, e of z is actually finite set, and you can see distinct on all of the pairs of distinct elements of v of z. So you can think about some points or call the vertices, maybe in computer science and not. Okay. So the elements in E of z, actually the distinct on all of the pair so of distinct elements of v of z. So you want to choose two distinct elements, okay? And then we may think about an unordered pair like this. Maybe you can label the vertices. Maybe say this is A and this is B. Then it's A comma B is an unordered pair. So we, we don't distinguish actually uh, the B comma A and A comma B. They are actually the same in this definition, okay? But we we may not want to have many uh, unordered pairs between A and B like this. Because look at this, the distinct unordered pairs. So between A and B, okay, we only allow kind of only one end or nothing. Well, so... We call V of G the vertex set and the E of G edge set of graph G. So when we investigate the definition of a simple graph, okay, sometimes we may want to have the situation like allowing uh, multiple edges joining two uh, distinct vertices. Okay. Say A and B, those two vertices, we may want to have a multiple edges like this. Okay. And sometimes look at the definition in here. Sometimes, you know, we may want to probably think about a pair of uh, maybe not necessarily distinct elements. So that means you cannot think about the A comma A like this. And that is kind of called a loop, okay? So 
some of you may think that we may want to allow multiple entities all loops. Okay, so the the, the resulting object. Okay, with may, maybe loops or multiple edges is called a multigram. So more precisely, okay, we may adjust or manipulate okay, uh, the definition of a simple graph. So multigraph is same almost same situation. We wanna uh, have a vertex set in here, like non-empty finite set again, okay? But the previous, we, we actually have a finite set my E of G is a finite set. But as I told you, we may allow just on or not necessarily uh, distinct unordered paired. So, which means that we may have uh, multiple edges. Okay. So we may have many like AB pairs. Okay. So that means uh, uh, it's not a set actually. So we call family or we may use the term maybe multi set. And we also maybe allow not necessary distinct elements. So we may have a loop, okay? But still we call the element in E of G, okay, just the edge. So uh, when we handle multi-graph, okay, we call V of G the vertex set, but maybe E of G is not just the edge set, okay? We may call E of G, as a family. Okay. But still, when we handle multigraphs, we still consider finite and undirectable. Well, in a simple graph or multigraph, we think about uh, unordered pairs, just a pair. Okay. But sometimes you may not, you may want to have uh, maybe triples or quadruples. Okay. So hypergraph allow those kind of things. So more precisely, a hypergraph still consists of a vertex set of a non empty finite set. Okay. But uh, uh, we may we may think about the uh, hyper edges, hyper edges in here. So maybe we may have a, maybe triples or quadruples. So more generally, actually, we can have a, a maybe just a non empty subset of a vertex set. Okay. And that is called a hyper edge in here. So for example, if we have a four vertices in here, and you may, well, in a simple graph or multi graph, we may, we may have a just edge like this. Okay. But in a hyper graph, we can have this kind of uh, edge, but we may also have a situation like this. One edge and one hyper edge actually consists of like three vertices. Okay. Well, then what about directed graph? So sometimes we can think about not unordered pair, but we may think about ordered pair of vertices, okay? Or we may we may just think about the one edge between two vertices. Probably we can think about like a two edge, three edge, or sometimes we may give a weight on an edge, or even on a vertex. We may think about maybe weighted graph, or even directed weighted graph. Maybe not work. So we can also think about those types of graphs. Thanks for watching.